What is up everybody? Welcome back to Sierra Visuals. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, visit my Instagram to check out my work. Also check out the newly and updated, improved website, jsierravisuals.com. If you want to see more work that I don't post on my social medias, if you want to book me for any photo shoots, etc., give this video a thumbs up if it's something that you're into and let's get started. Okay, so this is basically like the second time I record this because the original video idea was about an app called Luminar 4. And it's an application that you can download on your desktop or Windows, PC. And basically what it does is it uses artificial intelligence to edit your photography. But after recording the video, a day after I had the video edited and everything, a day after Luminar came out with a new version of the app called Luminar AI instead of Luminar 4, which is basically the like newly and improved version of that same application. So I'm gonna load up the application on my computer and show you guys how we can edit photos on this app. Come to think about it, it's kind of, it's weird and cool at the same time knowing that AI can edit photos now. One part of me is like, dang, this is a really cool tool that you can use. And the other side of me is like, I feel like anyone can take pictures and use this app and make it look great. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this app, what it's capable of doing. Hopefully it'll be something you're interested in. Okay, so this was an, a photo I was using earlier just to test out the capabilities of this program, but I'm going to add a new image. Okay, so we found our image. We're going to be using this image to test out. So in this section, you see there's different sections on the top. There's the add button, which allows you to add different photos. Your catalog, which is all the photos you've already imported. Templates, which are kind of like presets in a way. Um, if you scroll down, it shows you like different types of photos. So landscape. So if it's a landscape, you can use these specific presets to edit the, that landscape with. So obviously this is a portrait. Let's look at see all. And these are portrait templates that Luminar have created. So experimental, you can click that. That's pretty cool. Celebrate. Mm. Obviously these are probably an acquired taste, but these are different um, templates that you can use. Easy portraits, let's see, high key. So this gives it a subtle, I actually really like that. A subtle boost of color, boost of contrast, boost of brightness. So let's say I'm gonna leave this on. I'm gonna keep that high key. And we go to the edit section. This is where it gets really fun. Composition AI. Basically what it does is it'll use artificial intelligence to crop it how it thinks it should look. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna leave the normal composition that I had previously. Erase, this is kind of like the, the healing tool. So if we zoom in, we can erase parts of the image that we don't want. So let's say that and that right there, right there. And let's click erase. So we click erase and then it's going to apply the races on a different uh, file and then it'll remove the things that we highlighted. Light, so this is def this is like Lightroom. So you can change your exposure, contrast, highlights, temperature, all that stuff. Enhance AI, this is where it gets really fun. So right now it's at 40. If I tone this down, you'll see that it goes back to normal. But if I tone this all the way up, you can definitely see the difference. So before and after. Sky Enhancer will obviously enhance your sky. So if we put that all the way, you can see it brings back a little bit more uh, information in the sky, but I'm not gonna use it all. I'm gonna put it at about 30, there you go. All right, structure. So this gives like more detail in the image. So I'll show you if I go all the way, it's gonna make it look weird. Yeah, so you can see in the trees, it looks too crunchy and she looks a little weird. So I'm just gonna bring that to about two. This is like a really subtle tool that you'll be using. Color, same thing as Lightroom. You can adjust your saturation and vibrance and you can bring up an HSL slider. So hue, saturation, and luminance for each specific color. You can also enhance the foliage, which would be the plants. So if you can see those plants right there and also in the background, it is enhancing that. So I'm going to enhance that just a tiny bit. All right, so in this edit tool, there are other different um, sections. So we're right now in the essential section. Let's go to creative 
And this is definitely where you can see the AI taking place. So sky AI, this replaces your whole entire sky. I'm not sure if it's gonna work with this just because there's buildings in the background and also the plants in the foreground as well. So let's just try bright blue sky and see if that works. Oh, wow, okay. So obviously you can definitely see that artificial intelligence is taking part in this because it knows there are buildings in the background. It knows that there's a tree right there and it made the sky different. <laughs> so let's try, I don't know, dramatic sky one, see if that works. Wow, that is really cool. Hmm. Sunset one, wow. So I'll show you guys the before and after. So this was before, this is after. That is crazy. So sunset one, horizon blending, horizon position. So you can change the position of the sky, um, but I'm going to leave that at zero. All right, so augmented sky is similar to sky AI, um, but this one, instead of changing the whole entire sky, you can add things. So you can add balloons, birds, clouds, eagles, fireworks, giraffe. Okay, so I'm gonna add a balloon, see if that shows. Obviously there's a building covering it, but you can see right here that there's a balloon in the background. Atmosphere AI. So you can add fog, mist, or haze to a specific image. I'm not gonna use any of that either. Sun rays. So you can place like, where on the screen you want the sun ray to come from. So my sun is coming right here. So I'm gonna place that right there and then I can drag the amount. Depending on where you put the sun ray, the sun rays change like its direction. So I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna tone down the amount. There are so many different tools that you can use for Luminar AI. Um, since we're still doing a portrait, let's go to this portrait section. Face AI. So I'm going to zoom in on her face. Um, and what is what this is gonna do, face light brings more light into the face. Her face is definitely brighter. Obviously, I'm not gonna use that much face light. Um, I'm going to boost that just a tiny bit. Slim face is what it implies. It slims her face. Eyes, so similar to the face, you can um, change her eyes. So iris visibility, iris flares, enlarge the eyes, eye whitening, enhancer. So I'm gonna use this eye enhancer. Uh, dark circle removal, which is really cool. Right here, you can remove the dark circles. Um, you can improve eyebrow color. Um, you can literally change the color of her, of her iris. So let's say, give her a cat eye. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, owl, what does that look like? Oh, wow, that's crazy. Okay, let's see, blue. I don't know if you guys can hear, my computer's kind of struggling back there, the fans are kicking on. Wow, that is so cool. And it looks very natural. So let's go to the mouth. We can saturate her lips, lip redness, lip darkening, and teeth whitening. So that's pretty cool. Skin AI, so this is basically like a skin um enhancer tool so instead of retouching the face like you would in photoshop you can go onto the skin ai section of luminar and basically retouch her face so let's put it at 100 just to show the drastic difference between the before and the after so right here as you can see everything's very um, blurry and um very smoothed out uh, obviously that is too much for my taste. So I'm going to tone this down to about 40. Also, let's say you were using flash or the sun was casting a shine onto the face. You can remove the shine altogether. And there's also a professional mode on here. So in professional, you can change lens distortion, change the vignette. You can do super contrast where you can contrast in the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. Color harmony, brilliance. I don't know what this does, honestly. Whoa, no, we are not using that. Okay, um, dodge and burn, clone stamp tool. There are just so many things you can do with this app. And it's crazy that it's basically artificial intelligence doing most of the work for you. The fact that I can import an image, edit on Lightroom, and then import into this app just to do some minor tweaks is insane. The last section in this um, 
app is export obviously to export your image you can save it to a disk email messages smug mug whatever that is i'm not sure what that is and then 500 px i'm also not sure what that is so let's save to disk so we click save to disk and you can change where you want it to be saved at so i'm just going to leave it on my desktop and you can also change the quality the color space um, the format resize it and you can also add sharpening so i'm just going to add glow sharpening and i'm going to save it and that's basically it for the app honestly i love it i think it's a good tool just to take so you have your photo here you have your edit from lightroom you think you're done you import into luminar ai and it can take your photo just that much better and i think it's cool i think it's cool to replace your sky i think it's cool to that it's able to retouch your face and change your iris color and change the body shape. It's just insane. It's really cool. And the fact that artificial intelligence is what is behind this is mind boggling because it can only get better from here. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching this video and supporting me through um, all my content here on YouTube. Give me a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if this is something you're going to start using for your photography. And also let me know in the comments what I should be doing next. Thank you for the support. God bless. Stay safe.